Have you ever played Combat Evolved Anniversary and thought, man, I wish I could make it look better? I mean, make it look something like this? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you a different kind of video. We're doing a mod showcase of a reshade preset that I actually personally put together to make Combat Evolved Anniversary look absolutely amazing. Our last video that showcased a reshade preset was Halo Buzz Borderlands, and it did super well on the channel, so I wanted to kind of replicate that and give you more of what you guys would like to see. If you'd like me to go through the other Halo games to create some other presets, if you like this one so much, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what kind of game you'd like me to see do a preset next if you'd like to do more of these kind of videos. And if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the video here. Combat Evolved Anniversary, released in 2011 to commemorate the 10 year anniversary of the original release of Combat Evolved on the original Xbox. And while Combat Evolved Anniversary did a great job of bringing the original game to the, at the time, modern standards with new graphics and stuff like that, my biggest issue with it is that I feel like the color palette and lighting that they used for that game didn't exactly match the tone and coloring that the original Combat Evolved did. Now you probably originally think to yourself that Combat Evolved original like, was a very colorful game. And yes it was, but the thing is that the color palette that they used was very dark and kind of gritty almost, honestly for 2001 standards. You know, a lot of dark greens, blues, grays, purples, nothing really super vibrant or really kind of stands out. So it sets a particular mood and feeling when it comes to playing the game that kind of sets almost like a gritty style of game for the best that they could accomplish for 2001 standard of graphics. So then when Combat Evolved Anniversary came around, they tried to just, you know, bring the game to the modern era. But my biggest issue with Combat Evolved Anniversary is, well, the lighting is so just washed out that there really isn't anything that stands out. There is no depth to anything. The shadows are almost negligible. And the color palette that they use, I don't exactly agree with as it kind of changes the mood and feel to the game where I feel like they put a lot of emphasis on like oranges, reds, and yellows where the original game, like I mentioned previously, put an emphasis on like greens, grays, blues, and purples. But with Reshade, you can change all of that. So what I wanted to do is try to capture that same mood and feel that the original Combat Evolved brought to us, but bring it to Combat Evolved Anniversary. And I think I kind of nailed it. The one mission in Combat Evolved I think really showcases the differences between the two is the mission, The Library, which if you guys remember this mission right here, this is just MCC on PC right now. Uh, I'm not using any filters or anything. This is the original graphics. You can see how dark this is. This is a really dark level because the library, I feel like kind of sets the mood of like an abandoned structure, probably running on low power to where it just, just enough lighting to where you can probably make your way around, but it's not on full capacity where you need to be able to see everything. So really, like, the darks are super dark in this game, and then the lights really stand out and kind of gives you like this beacon of where to go next kind of thing to navigate the player. But the thing is that when Combat Evolved Anniversary came around, you can see that the graphical fidelity is much improved. Like the texturing is fantastic. The visuals on this honestly look amazing. Like look at the difference between the like open area where the key is over there. Like it's just a plain like wall and then you go to anniversary huge night and day difference but the thing is that it's literally night and day difference because the rest of the level is just so bright that it really kind of loses that tone that the original game set to do but what i wanted to do was take this look and feel but bring it over to this and this is how it turned out i feel like i kind of nailed it and so the idea behind this reshade preset filter is to have it just over your game while you play to kind of give you that same mood of Combat Evolved original, but playing on the anniversary graphics. So moving forward, I just want to showcase some of the examples of the differences between Combat Evolved Anniversary and the reshade filter that I put together. So here we are on the mission, Pillar of Autumn. This is the, one of the first things you do. This is like the tutorial section to kind of figure out your aiming and looking directions and things like that. You can kind of utilize like how there's a lot of grays. Look how dark, especially up in the upper left corner where this light is. Like you can't even make out really what's behind the section because the shadowing is so dark. So it gives you a nice depth of really dark darks. And like with this light right here or against this wall or right here, really bright, bright. So it kind of gives you a nice depth of the whole lighting palette. But when you go to Combat Evolved Anniversary, 
it all just kind of blends together. You don't really notice anything. Nothing really pops out to you because it's all just one kind of lighting tone. But then when I put on the reshade filter, you can see how it still kind of has the best of both worlds, I feel, where you have the illumination and acquisition ability that you have with the Combat Evolved Anniversary, but also giving those darker tones for the shadows and stuff like that to mimic the original Combat Evolved, but also giving the graphical fidelity that Anniversary brings to us. So I'm sure you guys know where we are in this one. This is the mission Halo. This is where like the wow factor happens in the game right here. So this is the original graphics, the Anniversary graphics, here are the reshade filters on top of that. Then when I walk forward to look out to the ring, you get that nice wow factor of the graphics that this game has to offer right now. And when I was talking about earlier about how Combat Evolved Anniversary utilizes a lot of like oranges, yellows, and reds, you can see here that the difference between us is huge. Like the contrast again is super high. The shadows are really washed out. This rock you can see right here is very just, I don't know, like much more like orangey kind of yellowy kind of color tones onto it. When I put on the filter, it kind of washes out those colors a little bit more, dampens down those warm tones, brings out that cold tone a little bit more to kind of fall in line with the original Combat Evolved graphic style. Where you can see like the grass are super saturated green, very blue blues, but like very cold color tones where Anniversary doesn't exactly do that. So the filter tries to replicate that without going too far into the deep end. Okay, and here we are on the next mission, Truth and Reconciliation. This is one of the most famous missions within Combat Evolved. And you look at this, like here's the original graphics, and then you bring in the anniversary version. Huge change right here, obviously, that I prefer this graphical style more, but it's so bright and just seems like I'm almost in daytime almost, rather than being like in the middle of night like this lighting is. It seems more kind of like late dusk kind of thing. So, uh, what I wanted to do is try to bring out that nighttime feel a little bit more with this filter. Main thing here, keep an eye on these flashlights. This is where you really see the difference here. Tap on that filter. And to me, when I first did this, I had a wow moment. Like, look at the lighting on the grass here from the flashlights of these Marines. Completely different where the original was, where like, look at this, it, it kind of just blends in. You don't even notice it. Filter on, you see the how the light filters in through the grass and it really brings out that darkness of night and gives the environment feeling more dynamic and alive because what the, you're doing with these players are interacting with the world. And here we are on the mission Silent Cartographer. This is one of the most iconic missions within Halo Combat Evolved. And like I said previously that this game utilizes a lot of dark color tones to the whole thing. And this is the middle of the day, like bright sunny day on the beach right here and it's still like dark coloring grays, blues, greens, some browns right here, more gritty tones to them. And when Combat Evolved Anniversary went through this, they really brightened it up and like it does look amazing. The graphical fidelity is a lot better, but I just feel like it kind of loses that same atmosphere and tone that the original Combat Evolved that to do. Like look at the sand here at least, like it's kind of like dirty kind of no, off color, not exactly the no, day at the beach kind of sand. Or here, I feel like I'm on a tropical island with this kind of sand right here. So this mission in particular is kind of my favorite example to show off this filter right here. So you can see right here that but when I put on the reshade filter, it gives back those blues and those grays and kind of gives you back that more muted kind of color tone that they decided to do, but keeping it rather saturated and colorful. 343 Guilty Spark, this is obviously a spooky freaking mission because this is where you first interact with the flood and you can see the feeling that they go for it. It's very dark, a muted color palette to it. There's a lot of fog and it's kind of spooky to be honest, just looking at this by itself. When you put on the anniversary graphics, it really just brightens everything up and just completely changes the feel. Like it looks fantastic. I love the rendition, but just the lighting and the color palette just doesn't exactly match what Bungie was originally trying to accomplish. So what I did here, I put on the filter and oh my God, it changed my mind how this game looks. The mission keys also really showcases this reshade filter. So this is the original graphics. As you can see right here, a lot of greens, purples, a uh, pretty dark game. Like this is really dark. Like honestly, probably a little too dark. I might actually have to change my settings in my game, to be honest. Here's the anniversary graphics. Again, really brightens things up. Though it does look better. I feel like it really doesn't capture that spooky kind of nighttime kind of look to the whole thing. By the way, take a look at the Needler, by the way. Look at this, when I put on the filter right now, 
Look at how those needles look. It really brings out the texture of the needles, gives them some depth, gives them a nice glow to them as well. Oh my God. Like when I first saw this, I my jaw dropped. I didn't realize I, I, what I did. I didn't realize I made something look this good. You can see how the light interacts with the grass compared with the graphics turned off. You can see how it just kind of doesn't really do it for me. Like, yeah, there's a flashlight there. When you turn on the settings right here, oh, huge difference guys and like it just looks so much better in my opinion and with all these extra filters slapped on there it does affect the performance of your game quite a bit honestly uh, i did keep that in mind though when putting this together currently i'm running on a ryzen 7 2700 with a gtx 1080 ti and i'm able to maintain 60 frames rather easily sometimes i do dip below into like the 50s but not that big of a deal with everything turned off i usually maintain uh, 120. Obviously, if you're having some issues, you can turn off some filters. You can tweak them yourself on your own platform to make sure that you can run this properly. But if you would like to play around with this reshade filter yourself, you can actually go into the link down below. This will take you to Nexus Mods where you can download the file and place it into your MCC. I do have a README file that kind of gives you the proper file path for the whole thing as well. Now I could spend all day showing you all these different scenarios and these different locations and how this reshade filter looks so much better than the original game but i think at this point i think you just kind of leave it up to you to get a chance to jump in and play it like i said nexus mod link in the description down below if you guys want to download that just all you gotta do is just download the file place it with your reshade and you're good to go if you missed any content from me recently or been out of the loop for halo the last few days or so check out the links on this right here got a link to all my news and informational videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it i'll catch you on the next one peace out